here we are again folks once more and as I've said before if you've been following my little videos you will know that this next one coming up is Doom. Oh yeah, there we go. Right, and on the top of the box we have Doom. Right, well, I have played this right from back, goodness knows what, I can't remember the year that the first one came out, but there's been a few of them like I have with other games. Um, not 100% my game, but I don't know, it's had a certain fascination. That's why I've sort of, you know, given everyone that's come out a bit of a try. Um, apparently this one, according to a couple of reviews I've read, is quite fast and furious. So to be quite honest, it'll probably be too fast for me won't it don't laugh he's laughing again this cameraman of mine there we go right it's out of the box oh oh that's just me at the post in the bottom i'll stick that over there because i will just have a little look at it later righty ho now then here we go so we've got Doom on the front of the box, not a lot on the side, and round the back we have Collector's Edition showing the statue, the game, and a book which says, oh, that it's an exclusive, oh, that sounds interesting, a 12-inch revenant statue on an LED-lit base with internal slow spinning turbine. Whoa, it's going to be like being at the fair, isn't it, on the blink of merry-go-round? Oh well, perhaps that's why he's looking a little bit aghast because he's been spinning too much. Look at his face. Yes, that could also be why he's lost quite a quantity of skin. Hmm. <laughs> anyway. Let's take this one off and see how we go underneath it. So that's easy to come off. And there he is again. Wouldn't like to meet you in the dark alley at, at night, mister. Would we? Okay. So, oh, watch out. Watch out. It's that squeaky polystyrene stuff again. Okay, so... Even before we go any further, just opening the lid. Warning, fragile, remove product carefully. There you go, you see it? We've all seen it. Oh my gosh, look, we've even got a diagram. We've got, we've got to put it together. No. We've got to do something because there's a screwdriver there. Oh, and an on-off switch. Okay, joking aside... We get it out of the box. Right. Um, turn it upside down. Oh, that is coming out on its own, isn't it? Right, so there is the... I presume the game is in there and not in another thingy. But... We will know later on. Not anything else up the old? No. <laughs> All packed in lovely polystyrene again. There we go. By the time we've done a few thousand of these, cameraman, you will be much more used to this polystyrene stuff. Why? Well, do you know this one stinks? It's just like the um, what's his name, Nathan Drake Uncharted Four one. It's it's the stuff we make it with, isn't it? And the plastic and the. Sorry I'm making too much noise, but he's sort of, his bottom's stuck. Right. Oh, and this sticks like. <laughs> it's like pulling the plaster off of a hairy leg, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, this. 
some batteries and nothing else in there so basically this is just the statue and the game not even a little booky thing I, that looks oh no that's just the that's that and oh the, see they make it look like it's a book oh do, do you know god this Would you not think, with all the technology about, they could find some sort of packing? I should have to get the hoover on you. Sorry, dear, you're going to have to be hoovered. Hmm. Right. So. Now then, I had... I had a screwdriver right here for little screws because I bought something today that needed a battery putting in it with a little screwdriver. I can't believe I put it back over there. Come on, it's not even moving. Holy Jesus. It's not even moving. Okay, right. Well, this is going to be another little rant. It's all very well having these things, but if you can't get them to work, then they're not a lot of use, are they? Okie doke. We have got on the bottom one of these, which everybody's seen. Okay, so we go unscrew it, put the batteries in. Screw doesn't move. Nothing moves. It's like it's embedded in there with super glue and it isn't going to come out. Apart, you know, even though we have tried screwdriver, we even resorted to a knife, which I don't like using on things, to try and see if we could just jiggle it about a little bit. Jiggling didn't work, knife screwdriver didn't work. So, unfortunately, folks, we can't show it to you working. I'm going to have to have a little word with um, Bethesda over this because that is really bad. I so wanted to see it working. And then also it says, one of these things here, um, one of these bits here, where's my box gone? You, you have to remove it to find the on off switch. So reading from the thing, battery compartment is located on the bottom of the base. You see, do they sometimes think that we are total imbeciles? If you can't see it on the top, you look underneath, don't you? But it's no bloody good if it's underneath, if you can't get the damn screw out. Oh, I'm seriously, I'm not going to say it off <laughs> right it says here unscrew the panel put in the batteries making sure the cor correct polarity well once again i mean it's not a five-year-old would buy this it is somebody who has put in batteries th in things before i would imagine so therefore that's a little bit of a um stupid instruction isn't it um the more i'm thinking about it the more blinking stupid this whole thing is Put the batteries in the right place, as shown above, then replace the cover and tighten the screw. Yes, tighten the screw is a good idea, untighten it would even be a better idea. Then it says, remove the cover at the side of the base to reveal the on-off switch. So it's got to be a little tiny bit down like that, which is... This is clear as mud. It is absolutely as clear as mud. There's a round thing like that, so that's got to be that. And if we stick him like that, then the battery bit's got to be here. Oh. I don't want to think it too much in case I'm breaking it. Oh, 
Oh no, there is a switch underneath there. You need the strength of Hercules to get this blinking bit off. What? Oh. And there we go, an on off switch. Where think I hide it? I mean, it's so damn big, isn't it? I mean, you know, it would hit you in the eye, wouldn't it, if it didn't have a cover on it? Oh, this is a bit of a. And how to put it back? How do you put it back then? Do you just sort of press it in? Well, that's not press. Oh, press it in. Okay, but what's the point of being able to get to the switch if we can't put the batteries in it? Look at that. There's a fan there, it's sort of going round on its own. Do you think if we all got together and give it a blow, it would probably move itself and light up? You know, it could be human wind power instead of battery power. Well, there's the figure. Yeah, well, he's not bad, is he? I mean, he's a bit skinless, a bit hairless. Oh, at least he's got his teeth, his teeth in size. He hasn't got any nose. And you know what I feel like at the moment? Loading these things up with something and finding somewhere to press and firing it at certain people. <laughs> Yeah. No, now we mustn't be nasty. Must we? Well, that's a bit rubbery. And that's a bit thingy. Well, okay, folks, so though this one was not quite as expensive as the last one I did that I complained about then that it was a bit overpriced. Um Seeing as how this has got workings, and I would imagine if it did work, if we, went, if we got it to work, if we could get in it, it might look quite spectacular because it, 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 it's LED and rotating fan, so it, it would light up. Now, it's a shame I can't show it you, but I'll tell you what I'll do. I will, at some stage, get batteries in it, even if, even if we've got, got to go to drastic measures. I don't really want to push it anymore because it's not going to do it any good if it is going to, you know, destroy the bottom of it just to put a couple of batteries in it. Um, but then the whole idea of it is the fact that, you know, it's a, supposed to be a sort of a working model of sorts. So if we could get the batteries in it and if we could see it working, I would say that this is a much better value thing than the... Um, Uncharted 4 Nathan Drake one. But again, we haven't got anything but the game and the figure. And I haven't opened the box, so I can't find anything else in there, so I presume the game is in there, or the disc is in there. But I've got to leave it there. I really, really can't do anything else at all. I mean, we've been struggling for quite a while to try and get into it. If it just gives you a little light around the bottom of it and not a lot else, I should be more than disappointed once again because I'm expecting fantastic things from this. I'm just having a thought. You stood on a fan. Good job we haven't got any clothes on it. It'd blow right up his what's it. Be a bit windy, wouldn't it? You know, like that um, iconic photograph of um, Marilyn Monroe in the white dress standing over the air vent. Must be in, I would imagine, New York or something like that. A very iconic photograph. So if we put a dress on you, you know, you could be a stand-in for Marilyn Monroe, couldn't you? If we could get the thing working. Never mind. There we are. So that's the Revenant. And I'll tell you what, he doesn't feel terribly safe. I suppose he is secure enough on there. Okay, well, that's all, folks. I'm really sorry that we couldn't do, you know, what we want to do. Um, but, c'est la vie, as they say. That's life. Bloody bye.